the betting brand for soccer fans. That's better. Gamble responsibly. Well, it's time to make the big calls on the World Cup quarterfinals. First up, jurors, let's have a look at Netherlands and Argentina. It's Gakpo and Depay versus Messi and Martinez. Who do you see dominating in the front thirds for these two teams? Yeah, I think if you look at the group stages, you know, Gakpo's been excellent. He's, he's on three goals and he's yep. been the main guy going forward for, for uh, Holland. So. He's going to be one to stop, and I think Messi, you can't rule out Messi uh, scoring big moment, big occasion. He always seems to step up, so I think those two are going to be the key guys for both teams. Yeah, Messi's still in it for the golden boot, of course, and are largely the sentimental favourite. Now, I'm tipping Argentina and Netherlands to go all the way to penalties and I'm going to tip Argentina to win on penalties. What's your go? Yeah, look, I think Argentina will be too good. I think Messi will be the difference. I think he, he has shown that in, in all the games that he has been the difference. So I'm going to go Argentina. I think it'll be done in normal time. Um, and obviously, there's another big clash coming up. The Brazilians versus the Croatians. You know, the firepower that the Brazilians have shown. Do you think they're going to be too strong for, for the Croatians? Well, they were awesome in their round of 16, of course, and uh, Croatia needed penalties uh, to get past Japan. And I see Brazil, Richarlson for me, that goal he scored was absolutely extraordinary. Neymar back in the team. I think they're going to be too too strong for, for Croatia here and I see them winning it. Yeah, I think I think Brazil will be too strong. They've shown their class throughout the whole tournament. Croatia always seem to um, outdo expectations and are always there, but I think it's going to be the end of the road for Croatia. And the next big game is England-France. You've said football's coming home, Robbie. Is it coming home? Well, I did say England was coming home, but I, I don't think it's going to come home in this tournament. I, look, but I do really do think this could go either way. Um, in some respects, you know, either of these teams are good enough to win it. Yeah. And I think th these two teams and Brazil are the three standouts anyway. You've got to pick a winner. I think, M I think M Mbappe, his form is absolutely extraordinary. I think he'll be the dif difference between the two times. What's your pick? Yeah, I agree. I think, uh, I think Mbappe will be the difference. I think the French team will be just too strong against the, the English back line. Yeah. So I'm going to pick uh, France to win that one. OK, Portugal up against Morocco. What's your pick in that one? Yeah, look, Portugal was sensational uh, against um, uh, the Swiss. They, they just completely dominated. 6-1 winners, uh, you know, multiple goal scorers. They've got a team full of superstars. João Felix, Bruno Fernandes, Bernardo Silva. Some team. Uh, you know, you've got Pepe at the back at 39 years old with a towering header to, to get on the score sheet as well. So. They've got match winners all over the park, so I think they're going to be too strong for the Moroccans. Yeah, look, I've got Portugal to beat Morocco. Morocco's a great story, yeah. finishing top of their group, knocking out Spain, but I think that lineup you just went through, I think, sees Portugal home. OK, what about the Golden Boot? Are they measuring Mbappe's size already for it? Yeah, look, I, I think he's odds on to get it. I think, you know, he's already two ahead with five goals, So, I, I'm, and I think France are going to obviously progress, so I, I'm going to say Mbappe will will be the main guy to, to lead the Golden Boot uh, race. So do you see anyone else that can kind of catch him, potentially? No, look, I think Mbappe, given that I've tipped France, I'd better yeah, stick yeah. with him. Now, look, you talked about Argentina, you've tipped them in this quarter. Do you still see them? Is that what you're staying with to lift yeah, the trophy? Yeah, I'm staying with them. I think they're, they're the team. I think the Messi factor, I think he can just win games off his own back, he's, he's been sensational. When he wants to involve himself in the game, he has. So I think he's going to be the he's going to be the uh, the main guy and, and lift the trophy and, and have the Dream World Cup. And and obviously, you went Brazil. <laughs> You're sticking with them. I stick. I got to stick with them. Although I didn't stick with England, did I? So yeah, you, know, you call me what was it? A flip flopper. I've, I've been called a lot worse. Now I'm going to stick with them. I thought they, the, as I said, with Charleston, Neymar back into the team is a massive plus for them and uh, I think they'll be too strong for Croatia. So uh, we will see if we're right next week, won't we? But there is still so much to look forward to in what has been a sensational World Cup. The betting brand for soccer fans. That's better. Gamble responsibly.